Hello everyone, welcome to Dice Academy. This time we will talk about web admin basics for domain administrators. I've just logged in as domain administrator into web admin interface. You may already know that there are several account types with access to web admin. I've explained them in web admin introduction video. So this time let's talk about what domain admins can configure or create in web admin. As I'm now domain admin of one domain, my first page here in web admin is this domain and its configuration. What we can do here is to create new users, groups, mailing lists, but please note that server administrators can select which user types you can work with and also limit how many new users you can actually create within your domain. So let's have a look at new user creation. We have to fill in the whole dialog, including first name, last name, alias, we can add several more later on, and select or generate password for this user. Confirm with save button. And once the user is created, you can modify other settings, like add additional aliases, for example. Enable features of ISO Observer for this user. Manage devices and client applications. On the card tab, you can specify additional user information, which can be then accessible through global address list to other users of this domain. On the email tab, you can configure autoresponder for time on holiday together with forwarder, for example. Then you can set limits like this quota, max message size, and so on. And as a domain administrator, you also have access to users' rules and mobile devices used in Exchange Active Sync synchronization. Okay, so that were user options and configurations. Now let's move back to domain settings. I'll go back. And on the domain level, you can list users in the domain. But be careful, because on the top right corner of the screen, you can select which user types you'd like to see. And user, I mean the only user, is the default one. So you can switch to all types to see also groups and other stuff. Then we can of course go to properties. And here, enable Insta Messaging Shared Rorser, for example, or check DNS records using DNS validation tool. And of course, on the domain level, we can also specify the domain limits, like default user limits, or this quota. Then create and manage domain rules, list all devices paired with domain users, or configure white labeling. For more information about white labeling, please have a look at our video dedicated to white labeling and overall customization of look of ISO Observer. And the last thing to mention is API console. Although I am just a domain admin, I have limited access to API console. So I can manage configuration of domain and its users also from here. API console and these advanced tools for ISO server management have also our own video tutorial, so you can find there more information about that. So that was web admin for domain administrators. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I also recommend your next video, which is as well related to iSorb. So see you there. Bye bye.